How's it going ladies and gents? This is Kane from DJVB and this is the initial setup quick start uh, tutorial which will get you going with our product once you've downloaded it. Uh, I'm going to show you now exactly what you're getting and where you can find stuff, where you can find the video tutorials and where you should install the assets. So this is the May 2021 update to this product by the way so this product has had a few versions it's actually a very new product um, but I've just recently updated it again and uh, on that note if anyone already owns this product I'm keeping the older versions online um, just because there's a few slightly different things in them so if people are used to it and they want to use them then be my guest but the new versions are going up and uh, you will need to re-download everything that's included in this new May 2021 update if you want to use anything new and recent that I've announced okay so all the new features are in this new one you've got to download it all again uh, I do apologize for that but everything has changed in this new version and if you want to keep using the old version that's fine so with that waffle out the way here we go then so when you download the assets the new one which is the May 2021 folder it's gonna look like this so this is the readme installation path.png and all it is is just telling you where you need to put the assets it looks it's just an image that looks like this these are the assets it is a load of obj's and it's a load of it, well, as soon as you start unzipping this one zip file it will run through and it will unzip it all it's just parts they're just split into three gigabyte files just so it's easier for you guys to download okay and you need to install it here and just so you guys know what that looks like because I know it can be confusing like do we drop it in a folder called DGVB presets do we just drop it in the models folder let me show you this is how it looks when you've unzipped it so this is obviously my video copilot directory and then there's a folder called DJVB presets and it's all here unzipped and it looks like this okay it's all the element 3d uh, model presets it's all my jiggery pokery that goes on in the background that makes this product work like magic so that's how you install and where you install all the OBJ sequences and assets. That's this stuff here. And this is telling you where to install it. So that's everything down to here is done. Now, when you unzip this one, which is the uh, toolkit tutorials, we've just done a full new, uh, it's a few hours long, there's loads of different videos, a full new tutorial series. When you unzip that, it looks like this. And you can go through the steps and uh, it's going to teach you exactly how to use this product and if you need to remind yourself at any point along the way to how to do a specific thing, how to import your 3D models or uh, multiple projector setups or just get any more handy information, it's all in here guys. So that's in there and included in the download. And then finally we've got this one which is of course the project files. And if I drag that over here you'll see what that looks like. So we have the 1920 by 1080 um, versions and we have the full 4k versions now I'm gonna open it up now for you and in front of you just so you guys can see um, how everything should look when you open it and how it should how it should all relink because it should all be automatic you shouldn't have to go into element 3d at all to get if there's anything missing or if there's anything any 3d models that aren't linked automatically then you've probably put your directory in the wrong place your your assets because it should find these uh, these these 3d model uh, uh, element 3d preset files and then that points to the obj sequences so it shouldn't uh, have any problems if everything's in the right place so here we go I've opened it up and boom we're working so that that obviously played out very well uh, I've obviously got the assets in the right place now um, there's a little, there's a few things that I like to do before I start using this product, and it's all in the name of making sure it runs smoothly. First of all, and I, this will be mentioned on the product download pages, so if this is the first you're hearing of it, um, uh, yeah, you, you, to use this product, it must be um, using an After Effects language that is not using Cyrillic characters, so it's got to be in an English alphabetical type um, After Effects language. The reason for that is all the scripting in here. Uh, it was written in English, in English, sorry, in English alphabets, so it needs to be read in uh, English alphabets. You can't have Russian characters, you can't have Indonesian or, um, you know, Thai alphabets. Um, so 
to get around that if 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 that is the case and you're using this in one of those countries it with one of those language i mean you can use it in those countries but if you're using it in uh, one of those alphabetical languages uh, an after effects version that's in say thai um, you could go to Adobe Creative Cloud and then just download an uh, English version uh, or um, hopefully you wouldn't have got to this stage and just found out now because it is written all over my website that you need to use After Effects in English for this software to work, this uh, toolkit. So that's one thing out of the way. The second thing is along the same lines, let's just do this. So if I go to File, Project Settings, Expressions, JavaScript needs to be set to JavaScript guys not legacy um, all there's an awful lot of code there is in just an in, in insane amount of uh, After Effects scripting and expressions in here and without that set to JavaScript uh, some of them probably won't work and finally this is just uh, something that I like to do but I, I usually go to project settings time display and I have it set to frames I also usually I'll go straight to the control layer and then I'll go here to control new effect controls viewer and make sure it's unlocked so now I've got two unlocked viewers one of them is my control layer so what I like to do is lock my control layer and then I like to dock it here and then I'll just see this new one we've made I that doesn't need to be locked but I just like to put it back where it usually belongs so now we have our master controls here and no matter where we go in the project um, it's always going to be there, the control layer, and that's how I work in it, guys. So that's all the setup you need. That will get you going. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and thank you for supporting uh, my creations and my uh, company's products. Um, we can't make cool stuff without your support. So much appreciated, and do fire a uh, fire an email across if anyone has any problems using this product, because I would love I would love to hear about it sooner rather than later, so I can fix it and make sure everything is gravy. Signing out, Kane from DJVB, have fun and happy mixing.